All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to VR Master League here on Channel One. How are you guys doing? I'm Palador, and I'm back on the screen for one final time. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, for the first time though this week, <laughs> just got my first cast done a few moments ago uh, on stream. There was Anarchy versus uh, Technique, and that was a stellar three-round match. It was fun. It was very fun. Very competitive. Neither team really pulling away by more than uh, a couple goals really until late in that third round. So it was good stuff. Uh, over here on stream, seeing people stopping by back again. Pond stream, glad to have you back. Welcome to it. Um, how's it going? You, you, you've got, let's see. You got uh, one day, one and a half days, something like that. Until your, uh, your special VIP badge is no more. I don't know what I'm doing here. What a shame. I don't know. Uh, like I said, I haven't been on the camera in the week. I don't know what to do with my hands. Actually, I lied. I do know what to do with my hands. Eh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Some of that a little bit, a uh, little bit soon. Especially with these lights on. It's hot. And I live in Arizona. And that only means, even though it's still February, and other parts of the country had snow recently, and nah, now we're... It's hot. I'm gonna be sweating here by the end of tonight. By the end of this... In, uh, by the end of this introduction, I'll probably be be there already, but that's okay. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, pawn stream. Who should you vote on? Well, the votes are now closed. It would seem so. Not that there were that there were too much, but I uh, had it up for about five minutes or so there before we went live. Granted, we're still kind of holding tight here, so hopefully uh, the fourth player for Spartan arrives soon. Because uh, as is often the case, you know, when you have a few streams in a row, which we do. Uh, these players can wait the full 15 minutes or so, uh, obviously, uh, as dictated by the rules, but... Uh, ideally for when casts are happening. You know, we don't want to start too late, so... And I'll give it, uh, up until the five minute or so mark. But I really don't want to skip it, but at the same time, you know, it's one of those things where when we have a lot of other teams also wanting to be casted, uh... I only have so many hands and so many PCs. That said, I am trying to look for a new PC lately. Um, anyone who's been looking to build PCs or just buy them kind of know how that's going right now. <laughs> Man. Struck out with uh, Newegg and Best Buy this uh, this Thursday when they restocked. I was there. I was there. I was in the queue. I was in the shuffles. Not working out so well. But maybe, maybe when I get that second PC... Actually, definitely, but then I'll be able to do some of the stuff uh, you see Subtlety doing, you know, on those venue streams and uh, some of the weekly matches with the, the dual Joust cams. Those are super cool. Uh, so I'll be able to do stuff like that. And who knows? Maybe I will be able to stream two matches at once somehow. <laughs> Actually, no, probably not. Probably not. I don't think my internet would support it. Casting two, in a, uh, two at the same time is another, another story, but even just, just having idle cams would be cool. Uh, for those matches where it's like, otherwise it just doesn't get streamed, you know? Too many matches. It's a good problem to have, but it's still a problem nonetheless. But like seeing matches not being taken that uh, people want to see. Uh, Unsound asking what my prediction is. Well. Hmm, hard to say, and I don't like, oftentimes I don't like saying because, you know, caster's curse and whatnot. I mean... Thing is, for Spartan, they're more, in a sense, known commodities um, at, you know, at this level. Where, for Bangarang, this is kind of their, this season has been their, their test of sort. Like, they're, they've been showing up, not, without a doubt. You know, these players, I rec you know, recognize them all, of course, from uh, prior season, from last season. You know, and, you know, some of these players coming in as, uh, I believe, rookies at the time, at, at least for Light has come in, from Toxin. Hard to forget Toxin. They were uh, definitely the tux of the town, but but yeah, the thing is, and actually, on that note, Titan also was on Toxin. He's on uh, over on Spartan, however. But that being said, my, my main point is, uh, history would have have you saying, well, I believe Spartan could do it because like, they have. Voodoo, who I believe I might be the fourth they're waiting on, either Voodoo or Captain Canada. The point is, you have Voodoo or Captain Canada coming in, uh, established as you know master uh, master players, caliber players in prior seasons. You have you know uh, Grumpiest Broom, who's been at it for years now. I mean, 
you know, Alduin, who's been one of the most, uh, was one of the most promising player, like new players last year, and sick goalie. I uh, was had a stint there on the uh, Luminati, as it was called last season for a while. Um, but it's definitely shown his chops as a, you know, just well, uh, high skilled player. But then you go to Bangarang, and that's the thing. Again, you know these players, but just comparatively, it's uh, you look at their record. It's hard to deny. So it's like, history says one thing, recent history says another thing. Uh, Bay Rang has been killing it. 11 and 2 is no joke to be accomplishing a record like that in the Diamond Division in North America, seven weeks into the season. I'm just saying, uh, that's pretty immense. So, as always, I don't have a favorite per se, and you know, I just want competitive games really, but as far as who I give an edge to, this will be a litmus test for Bangarang, that much is clear. But... I think they're very capable of passing it, um, just as much as Spartan is also capable of denying it, you know? Coming in, uh, cause Spartan we just saw a couple weeks ago, obviously, in the Challenger Cup. And... You know, making it to that level, trying to do it again, going to the next Challenger Cup for Cycle 2. Bangarang, they want to be there for Cycle 2, uh, make the Challenger's Cup. This is a team who very well we could be seeing in the Master Division uh, someday in the future, maybe the near future. Uh, again, if they can keep up this kind of record, this kind of streak that they've been on, just gotta, you gotta give it to them. But, yeah, Oscador in the chat there saying, I think Bang has this, not biased. I don't believe you. <laughs> Um, all right, still waiting on the fourth. You're killing me, guys. I don't want to skip the game, but if any of you are listening, that, that's me. That's the sound of me shaking my fist, which actually didn't make a sound at all, so never mind. That made a sound. Uh, but I don't want to skip this. I really, really don't. But please be here in time, or at least in the next couple minutes, or else I'll just be a sad door here awkwardly sipping my tea, waiting for someone else to take the pressure off of me. And by T, I mean P. Pepper. Out of context, that was pretty... Dr. Pepper. Anyway. Um, what's up, Cruisin? D distract me from my, uh... My words. Uh, Cruisin saying Spartans seem very strong in their warm-up. Who, uh, who was their fourth in the warm-up, by the by? Was it Voodoo or Canada? Curious. Or, uh... Yeah. Or were they using a sub? I mean... They were just warming up. Interesting that they, they're missing a player. I wonder if that's tech-related. Um, but yeah, Cruzen's saying they were strong in the warm-up, so... Uh, hopefully that carries over for them. I uh, don't know if Bangarang had a warm-up or not, but as I said, this is a litmus test for this Diamond team. Now, Spartan's been, again, right here at the top of Diamond. Hence why they made the first Challengers Cup. Uh, hence why they're going to be in contention to make the second Challengers Cup. So, for Bangarang, as impressive as it's been, it's really... Again, it, it, it's can you take it to the next level every time we get there. You can be a super, super impressive team in the middle of Diamond or or, or really in any division, right? I mean, there's kind of levels to it of sorts, but it, it's it's can you take it to that next level? Can you beat the cream of the crop in your division at the very top? Can you take it to the next and then beat the players and the teams in the next division around? Uh, as we saw again with, you know, Aurora and Anomaly uh, able to accomplish just that in the Challengers Cup and... Uh, also successful having a lot of success here in uh, the first couple weeks of cycle two so that's the thing now cruisin saying voodoo was in and out actually seemed like some tech issues well besides that i'm, I'm good voodoo thanks for asking how's uh, how's your weekend did you miss any super sick cast this week uh yes and well you mean like from the ones i did no because this is only my second cast this week, believe it or not. My first one was uh, 45 minutes ago or so, but... But yeah, no, I mean, I, I would I, I would challenge... I know you're just making conversation, so this isn't really aimed at you. This is just me kind of rambling, but... I challenge anyone to find any week where it's possible... Uh, or where, where, you, where you're not missing some amazing uh, matches, because there's so many stellar matches all the time. Again, just, just the ones that, like, we cast, right? We're seeing these reverse sweeps constantly and these third rounds and overtimes. Uh, you know, on a pretty regular basis, especially ever since about week three or so. And that's just the ones we cast. What about uh, the dozens and dozens of matches 
that don't just because again the blocks are so crowded every day right so it's logistically impossible <laughs> but man But yeah, I, I mean, I guess in terms of recent history, you, you did miss that last cast, which was awesome, actually. Uh, that match between uh, Technique and Anarchy Diamond Division. That one just happened, uh, again, about 45 minutes, an hour ago is when it started. And that one was pretty, pretty stellar. That one went to three rounds um, for basically 25, 25 out of the 30 minutes. Neither team pulled ahead by more than... Uh, like a two gold differential, five five points, six points, something like that. So uh, that one was pretty awesome, and some nice little momentum swings and comebacks. And praise the Baker, Jada Baker, coming in as a sub. I can only imagine, because I was gonna say my my stall game is about to run out because <laughs> we're at uh, about two minutes out from being the rule book definition of you know needing to start. All I know is uh, chaos. And Coco's, I believe it was, right? Coming up next, maybe? I really should write this down. You'd think it'd be fast to scroll, but I just get lost sometimes. Ka yeah, Co uh, Chaos and Coco's unnamed team. As well as Alcoholics and Team Geometry. You know the deal. <laughs> uh, send invites. You may wait if you wish. Um, or start if you can't. And we'll just join late. Up to you. Uh, either or, we'll be there to cast your streams as time opens up. But that's it. All right, round one. It's starting up. So let's go. And once more, shout out to everyone in there, in there in the chat, including Unsound Dash. I'm not sure that I've shouted you out yet, but glad to see you as the shot goes out. And I'm not glad to see that as it goes right back to the side. Picked off here by Buchibo and right back by Grumpiest. Grumpiest Broom 2, that is. So a double broom make room. But down the floor, unable to recover. Sam Randy instead for Bangarang. Gets the disc. And now in the midfield, you see that impending stack actually splitting apart. Just kind of let their eye off of the disc for a split second and that was enough to kind of uh, knock it loose but that said they still recover Sam Randy with the disc and Grumpy is dealing a lot of damage there in that uh, back line that midline that is as Alduin uh, dives recovers and sends to the midline now immediate on the boost that's a nice succession of grabs and some succession maybe on a rebound from Grumpy is Grumpy the nice shield diving out there is Titan Grumpy as well so now it's a two on four inside that goal that is a clustered situation so the numbers were there initially but once that that uh little shield the ender move went on that's kind of where it got too much to overcome and saying that it's buchibo for bangerang getting their first two points in this first round and um, there you go capitalize effectively efficiently and also the kid focus uh how's it going how's your day is there uh, any more, any more uh, Four Kings games this week? <laughs> like I said, I've been, I've been a little bit out of it this week uh, for a, for a change, kind of by my own, my own force this time. But yeah, so I haven't really got to cast too much. But obviously, looking forward to casting what I can for the remainder of the weekend and going into week eight. I know we have uh, as well Project Mayhem and an Anomaly playing a little later on tonight, so. Get a look at that master match for sure. This one again in the Diamond Division. These are two teams who very much will uh, likely be contesting master for a lot of this season here in the Diamond Division. So a lot of intrigue going into it as a recovery again from Bangarang, but picked off by Spartan. Jay Tabeka, who we, uh, again, coming in here as a substitute. So I think some technical issues perhaps for Voodoo. Now let's see if they can get their first goal, but a dive out instead. Now I forgot which team it was, but I did see Jay Tabeka playing... Uh, just a couple weeks ago as a goal nearly sailing in there off that boost and the slap. Uh, Sam Randy gets the two-point shot, seven meters. That was very near to a three. Uh, but nonetheless, they capture their second goal. They're up by four. But yeah, I was going to say, we saw Jada Baker playing for as a sub for one of these teams a few weeks back. I can't recall at this point. Uh, what I do remember is... He played very, 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 very well. <laughs> like, right off the bat. I remember questioning it, uh, like, 30 seconds into the game. I was saying... Uh, maybe it was... I think it was Anomaly, in fact. Maybe it was Anomaly. But, nonetheless, I remember as Grumpy as Broom just dinging it off the post there. Uh, kind of questioning how that's going to affect the rhythm. And then, like, 30 seconds in, Jay hit, like, a long-range 3-bomb just to shut me up. <laughs> so, uh, I can't deny it. 
definitely the talent level there. Although, of course, it still has to affect uh, a team's game plan and rhythm to a degree. You know, there's still going to be maybe a little bit of an adjustment period, and they're going to need to find it fast because otherwise, Bangarang is going to come away with this this first round at the very least at this pace. That is six unanswered points. Oscar uh, Horan there saying, for first time carried to Diamond, about to get carried to Master. Well, hey, every every player on team, ever so valuable. Who knows? When you know one of those days will come, where well, kind of like for Spartan, you know, missing out a player unexpectedly last moment, and then they're gonna come ringing the doorbell, the Oscar doorbell. As light has come, the lights are on, and that goal is home. Eight points. Bangarang, unanswered still yet. And what's up to Pyro Games UK? Glad to have you also in the chat today. How's your uh, your week been? See, there's a lot of people I got to kind of catch up with now. Just I know it's only been uh, only been five days since I've been last seen, but it's as we all know, VR time passes differently. It's just it's it's like an eternity. That said, Titan here with a disc being stunned. Spartan still unable to score. Good defense there. Sam Randy able to take it over and able to get a well partial clear, but unfortunately does ricochet out. Now uh, sent back again by Light and to the front line, uh, missing everyone missing the disc there as it's a swing around clear from Jay. Back into the tunnel, Sam Randy is there along with Light. Light and Sam, and uh, up on the ceiling, inverted, trying to deal with Grumpy. And Grumpy is definitely not a easy player to deal with when he's playing that midfield defense. Very, very crafty. And hard hitting, for sure. Uh, but Light has come here, uh, having a little trouble actually wrangling that disc. Grumpy is broom, uh, just as well, getting wrangled there by the stuns from Nate. Now, Bachibo to Sam. Sam down below. Uh, unable to get that one. Alduin sending it out. Now another pick here by Buchibo to that cross up by that shoulder, but dive from Titan. It's a great dive, a double dive. A uh, second one not paying out, and Mr. Nate Bro puts them up by double digits, that is to say, in this first round for Bangarang. Six minutes and ten points. What's up as well to Small, Smalls, uh, YC. How you doing? Smalls NYC? No, it's not a, no, it's just SYC. My eyes are bad, my monitor is small, don't judge me. I try to get the names right and then, uh, I get them right the first time and then question myself. It never works out. Ah, uh, ah, uh, the, the toils of a caster. But nonetheless, uh, this game for Bangarang so far, going quite the way they wanted to. Just unable to really get that that rhythm solidly for Spartan. Again, the technical favorites in this match in terms of uh, ranks and and history, I would say. But uh, as I said, when it comes to the Diamond Division, there are I don't know how many Dark Horse teams that I can easily see uh, contesting up there in the top of Diamond and potentially making it to Masters or at least the Challengers Cups. So there's just there's too many of those teams. Uh, now that one dings. Not too many of those in this match so far. So, kind of a giveaway there, but they're not going to pay too bad for it or in the long term. Now, that said, though, if that one goes, which it does for Grumpiest Broom, that at least gets them on the scoreboard. Now, it's still down seven, so, like I said, Bangarang isn't going to worry too much yet. Uh, if another one goes in like that, well, then we'll be talking. But you got to figure, it's only a matter of time for Spartan. Yeah, they're they're going to be, uh, they're not going to be held down for that long. Scoreless. Uh, seal's gonna be broken eventually. It has been here. Bang Ring, as I said though, I mean they're up by seven. Uh, control is the name of this game at the moment. They don't even need to score uh, in bunches anymore at this point necessarily. I mean with two minutes left, if they can just prioritize a little bit of solid control here, you know, go for the high percentage stuff, uh, they'll be good. Uh, that one, a little bit lower percentage. They're gonna still lower themselves into the goal, but another snag, so this is where they have to be careful here. Uh, because forcing those, again, lower percentage chance shots, if you don't make them and you give a, a chance for Spartan to build something going into the last couple minutes, that is a very, very bad position to be in. But a good dive there from, who was that, Mr. Nate? No, Bachibo at the top. So another send back, but another take back. I'll do it. 
And small, just going with small. All right, no, no big deal. Small thing. Happy to accommodate. <laughs> but yeah, uh, with that, trying to accommodate themselves to another goal, three pointer at that, another narrow miss. Uh, again, it's one of those cases where it's not something that they're paying for heavily quite yet, but you're still giving, you know, dangerous rhythm to Spartan that you you don't want to. Uh, this is. You don't want to have them start feeling good and feeling like they can start making their shots going uh, into the second round, right? Uh, because to pile on 10 points like that in rapid succession for Bangarang, and then to finish out the last couple minutes, not really able to score, and on top of that giving away some scores to Spartan, that is basically, even though you win the first round, that's still a really bad position to be in. Uh, essentially going into the next, so gotta be careful, and that they are. There's a stellar pass from Light to Sam. An interstellar pass indeed. Uh, will be 12 to 3. So as I said, you know, I think Bangarang is it's fine for this round at, at the end of the day, but definitely uh, you can see why at this level of play you cannot let up, whether intentionally or whether just because of the ebbs and flows of a game. You know, the moment that you give space to these uh, top teams to come back, uh, they will gladly capitalize on that and start punishing in their own right, which Spartan has definitely been uh, trying to press upon. So maybe one more score if they can. A J to Baker, getting bold, but it is gold. It's orange, in fact, into the goal. And now five points on the board as they will close out this round with a final score. But still yet, win to Bangarang. And on the whole, uh, still impressively, 12 points uh, for them. All right, uh, stopping by again into uh, score screen courtesy of Ignite. And see, what did I tell you, Chad? I wasn't lying about these lights and it being Arizona. I, I told you, I'm already sweating. I don't know about this. I gotta, I gotta turn on the AC or something. I don't like my state. Anyway, I mean, I like it. Don't get me wrong. It's okay, but just why does it, why does it burn so much? Uh, anyway. Anyway, anyway, uh, Unsound saying Pally is pronounced Bashibo. How many months have I been calling calling him Bushibo without someone correcting me? Feels bad, man. Or oh, wait, Art. Hmm. Now see, I don't know what to believe anymore. I've been trolled like too many times, even though I want to believe you. What do I do? What's the door to do besides turn on his streamer mode so he doesn't get pinged like that? <laughs> Uh, one of these days. That was me, not you guys. Don't worry about it. Your discords are fine. Unblemished. Okay, anyway. I, I'll be inclined to believe you, but I'll be really sad if I find out it was all a lie. So... Pashibo. Yeah? Is that right? Okay. Pashibo. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay. We're solid. Don't you let me down. <laughs> Sponsored label. Oh, that's on label for Sam Arendi. Dr. Pepper. Yeah, indeed, I'm not sponsored by them yet, but... You, you see, it's, it's kind of one of those cases where... You will something into existence, you know? If I, if I treat it as if it's a sponsored brand, well, they will be one, one of these days, or at least... If not for VML, just just for me. I'm fine with that. <laughs> uh, Sam Randy with a clear, bouncing off that popcorn block into Alduin's arms, or Alduin's wings, as the case may be. Titan over to the cloud, but too high up in the clouds and bouncing off. Uh, taken back by Jay to Baker. Baker to Grumpy. Grumpy now pushing up on this uh, goal. See. Uh, Bashibo trying to direct traffic and direct on the save as well. How about that? That is direct savings. Go clip a coupon and maybe clip that highlight as it will be a three point ignited by Bushibo. And what do you know? It's even going to be a highlight that sounds exactly right. Pronunciation and all, I, I hope. Did I do it? Did I do it? Confirm or deny. What a great highlight. That was a save, a boost, and a three. Uh, the old, the old trifecta, as no one calls it. So into the trap here. Gonna bounce up to Bashibo. Bashibo down to the ramp. 
Taking a leech now, and uh, we'll be actually Light and Nate Bro. Kind of boosting off each other to get a little extra speed to recover that and contest the pile up in the, on the disc. Uh, Bashibo with a clear, or a pass rather to Nate. A nice handoff play, very nicely in fact to Sam, but Sam getting stunned. Now another recovery there, uh, with enough time, but, 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 a little off course, but on course, it's Bushibo with an encore. Gotta give a round of applause to that, that is a save again and again. I was gonna say, they, uh, you know, Bangarang had that initial stack, but they overshot it, but then, then they just made it out with a stellar individual play, stellar instincts there. Uh, and now it's Blight has come. Now this is a very distinctly similar second round to start this one off. That is seven unanswered points. And if you uh, recall in round one, you know, they had scored about, what, 10 points in, I believe, uh, six minutes. And it was 10 uncontested, so Spartan kind of in dangerously unfamiliar territory, or familiar territory here that they do not want to be in. That shot will not be in as well. Uh, but Shibo's there, passes it off to Nate. Now up top, picked off here, the goal is a little open, about to be closed off in the pass as well, just a tiny bit astray. So snagged by Bushibo, and right up top again, Titan now slapping it up, so some big pileups happening there as Sam tries to collect, and another snag, this time from the grumpy one, right down midfield, that was nearly on point, that would have been stellar, and that would have really, really got them back in this game, uh, not just because of the points, but because of that kind of momentum boost you get from Big shots like that, that can really get teams going. And similarly, uh, it can deflate the opposite team when you see those, you know, near full court or, or three-fourths court flings go in. But still, oop, on the defense, and all doing <laughs> what a smart play that was. Uh, I was trying to go for the anchor maybe to, so he didn't sail in for a self goal, but just to be extra sure, just did a little dribble off that corner panel and recovered immediately. So either way, that was very crafty, uh, immediate decision making from all doing. Now, uh, Bushibo, or Bushibo, hey, I'm, I'm still getting it wrong, aren't I? It's buh, not, not boo, but Bushibo, Bushibo. It's gonna take a, take some muscle memory, you know? I'm gonna get there, don't you worry. No? Buh? Ooh? Boo? Okay, so, so, boosh. Alright, well, good, 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 good. <laughs> There I go, second guessing myself again. Well, not second guessing on the defense. There's the decisive stacks coming through. They got Sam calling for the disc at the barrier. You saw that winding, finding, and they are dining for nine points. I don't know what that accent was. Don't ask me, yeah, but it's a nice lead for Bangarang nonetheless. Five minutes into the round two. Now assist there to Mr. Nate, but you saw Sam just kind of pinned, uh, pinned off at the barrier. You can, you can physically see the arm up in the air kind of calling for the disc and no doubt in, in the private comms also. And hey, they just did the fundamentally right thing. You know, found the open guy and then drove it in. That was about as basic as it gets and well that one, not as much. So a save there, but then releasing the disc for one reason or the other, maybe it got caught up on Geo, I couldn't quite see it from uh, the initial angle, but all right, it sails in uh, against Bushibo. Um, not ideal, but again, one of those cases where it's not necessarily a worry, unless it turns into you know two in a row. But for now, they're good. Yo, Taco Pog, stop! Change your name. You make me want tacos every time you come in here. I love tacos. I don't have them nearly enough, but then when you do, it's like I, it's instant cravings, and it. It bothers me. Although I am glad to see you here. <laughs> so nice to have Taco back. Uh, remember you got, uh, coming in last last weekend, I think, right? Supporting soup, which is uh, is to say it soup the team, not soup the food, but maybe both. I also like soup. Hmm, taco soup. I wonder. No, nonetheless, uh, Sam Randy with a disc. 346 left and a turnover. Titan uh, sending it right down and bouncing it to Grumpy. Grumpy is going to go for that really great pass to Titan as well. You see Titan hit the brakes or maybe got stunned. Either or. Titan was there immobilized right uh, within about, what, four feet of the goal uh, of the goalkeeper. That was just a pitcher perfect surgical pass. And like that, they are within five points and back within reach again with three and a half remaining. Good stuff. Unsound saying drink up, Pally. 
I certainly need to. Next goal, though. Sam Randy here, deep down to Light. Light's trying to find just that, but a little off. Never mind, Sam coming through, but getting stunned. Right at the same time, another stun from Light. So Light's out, and Light takes it away, and being stolen away by Grumpy off of the stun as well. So just a lot of brawlage, if that even is a word. It is now happening in the midfield. Meanwhile, to the uh, blue zone. Taken back here, open goal, but... You can see the stun there near that wedge, uh, breaking things up. That could have been great to potentially pull Spartan back within just, uh, what, two points uh, had a three-point sh shot happen. But now they'll be forced into maybe a slower play, but the defense is super aggressive. Got to be careful. And back to Grumpy. Grumpy on the cut, and Grumpy on the bottom of the knees again. So knee caps it off. They're back within three. This is once more a game. Uh, drink, yes, redeemed. Okay, thank you for that uh, drink redemption there. Got some more pep in my step. <laughs> Back to light has come. Now less than two minutes left, and that is so close. This could be a big goal. Oh, denied by Mr. Nate. A significant stun to cause a turnover. Uh, we're in crunch time here. Now obviously, Bangarang still has that one round buffer. So, I mean, they, they can afford to lose in a sense, but obviously you don't want to. Oh, that is a big stun from Nate to at least waste some clock, and uh, actually, eventually, there's Mr. Nate again with another possession, but loses it to the stack, Alduin. Alduin to the bubble, a great dive coming out from Light, and another save from Bushibo! Going Super Saiyan, I'm just saying, Mr. Nate, they are up 11 to 6. So, Mr. Nate, I called out the big stuns earlier on to really... Uh, make that possession for Spartan more janky than they wanted it to be. Really bothersome. And then Bushibo with a great save, turning into what was an assist basically to uh, to Nate. So between those two, I mean, he also had some great dives in there from Light has Come and Stan Randy doing some uh, work on uh, cover covering the other offensive players. I mean, everyone really contributing. Now that said, that would have been a really uh, dangerous goal to give up, unforced, but they don't pay for it. But uh, anyway. Really a, a full team effort there on that last defensive stand. You love to see it. Defense ain't easy. Despite a lot of players and teams in this league making it look easy, it, it's not easy. So nice plays from them. Uh, they're up and looking to close this out in two with one more clear and perhaps a shot. The time is pretty much up and well, so is that one from Sam Randy. Ten meters up, in fact. And 14 to 6, bangerang. Consider that litmus test pass. Uh, wow, 14 to 6. Now, I, I know on the side of Spartan here, you know, uh, did unfortunately have that that unexpected uh, tech issue there with, uh, with, with Voodoo, so unable to really get their full roster they planned with going. But Bangarang, I mean, they still came and answered the call. I mean, nonetheless, those four players that they were up against, uh, they're all the real deal. Jay DeBaker included. So, you know, not getting too caught up in all of that business. They just came in and, to and close took care, out in two. care of business. That's just me looking for my uh, scores because I was talking too much. Don't mind me. There are not two Paladors I can confirm. Although, what if? Okay, so it was 14 to 6. Uh, let me get that in for you guys, and we'll go to the next, or to the score screen. I'm going to stop talking, however, because I actually do have the next match ready to go right away. Uh, got got links to that. That was a Discord pingy earlier on. It was actually giving me a little little link. So, I'm going to leave you here on the score screen. You can take a look at those uh, stats. Uh, I'll be back with Chaos versus Coco's unnamed team in the next minute or two. And yes, channel points.
All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to VR Master League. I am still Paladin, or at least for now, just one of me. Rest assured. Uh, channel point, prediction poll. I need to write it down. I always, I always get tangled up in what I want to say. Channel point poll, prediction poll, channel point rewards poll, 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 poll. Well, you know what? I'm gonna poll you guys. In, in any case, two minutes. Chaos. Coco's unnamed team. There you go. Did not forget. I am on point today. Uh, small with some language in there of some sort. Uh, get, get your keyboard away from your cat. Keyboard cat. Dun, 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 dun. Well, anyway, uh, so Chaos and Coco's unnamed team uh, coming in here in the gold division. Glad to see them both back in here. They've uh, had a uh, handful of streams here that I've casted up theirs this season. And coming in, as you see, in the uh, what, gold division, eight and four for Coco's team, unnamed team. Excuse me. Uh, seven and seven, all evened up for chaos. So, Coco uh, has been on a roll, roll. <laughs> Needless to say, but gonna be a good test versus chaos. Much the same, where it's like uh, for chaos. You know, we know these players. We're familiar with uh, these players as a, you know, from prior prior seasons uh, at the high levels, and you know, for Coco's unnamed team, comparatively. Comparatively newer, but of course still familiar faces. They've obviously though been putting in some work now that said uh, We're putting in this first round about to start right now. So all you ladies and gents and Jackson Jills and uh, All the other things in the book Welcome, I'm 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 door V door. That's just what I am not Sam I am not Sam Randy either. That was the last match that said Glad to have you. Uh, this is our second match in a row, and we appreciate, well, I appreciate these teams waiting an extra 10 minutes or so to get this done. And then afterwards, we'll also uh, be having a third match, but hold on, because trying to light that match here to start it off, just missing the shot, however. So, uh, taken back at the tunnel and kind of slapped around just a little bit, bouncing off the cloud, picked off by Flint and to the mid lane. Uh, but again, we have Echoholics versus Team Geometry also following this match just by the buys. A shot gets by, so hey, waving it on in is a Katie. Now, talking about uh, Bushibo in that last match and how I gotta get that muscle memory, you guys should be proud of me, or at least Chaos should be, because guess what? I finally got the a Katie muscle memory. For so many months, I called them Akadi. And I really struggled. <laughs> Not to keep switching back every every stream uh, for a good while, but I think I got it now. It, it's a it's a Katie. I'm not gonna mess it up even once in this stream, as I drinks myself. But hold on, as they bring themselves to their first goal, a dunk in from Toki and Coco's now on the scoreboard just as well. Uh, then end. In the Twitch chat asking what MMR, it's 1180 rounded MMR here. These two teams in the gold division. Now, Rainzy over to the side. Picked off by Toki. Slapped, actually. And kind of a clever angle. You know, New Flynn was in the back lane uh, by that goal post. And, hey, just slapped it off and using that geometry nicely. I thought Team Geometry is until later. But uh, these teams, it's apparently all in their wheelhouse. All in their academics. Uh, Akadi, speaking of academics, I guess, uh, will be taken by Flynn. Flynn now to that side tunnel, finding Toki. Toki by that station now. Philibus there kind of watching it as it goes by, and the rest of the team kind of converging on the goal as well as getting back up on the defensive end. Now, nice dive from Akadi. You see how smart that was? You got to make sure you dive on those diveable passes. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of times... I, I recommend this tip quite a lot, but just for goalies in terms of taking it to the next level, you got to know when to stay in goal and when it's better to dive. If that lane is available to dive on a pass, then go for it. You know, don't let the receiver catch it and then line up a shot and try to save that. That is, that is much more difficult than just intercepting a pass that is uh, thrown from far out enough or slow enough for, for a goalkeeper to catch up to. So you'll definitely witness a lot of the talented goalies in this league. They're going to do just that. They will mix and match when they dive, when they stick, and... Uh, etc. etc. As, uh, by the bottom of the floor. I said that really fast. It's Egret! Now, Egret has put in some, uh, good showings here on stream. Oh, uh, over the seasons, really. Great, great, uh, great to see Egret on a team here. And, uh, with Chaos here looking for success to push up to a positive win-loss. Once again, uh, they're locked at 7-7. Seven and seven. 
So this can bring them up to eight and seven, because that's how math works. Simple mathometry. Rainsy assisted there by the aforementioned Egret, and uh, pretty much open goal, just walking it right in, nice and easy, nice and Rainsy, and back to Flynn, uh, back to Philibus actually. Make that a uh, shot attempt here. We'll bounce off the Geo. Meanwhile, Egret at the boots, and also some back passes available if they need to kind of reset that out. Uh, going for a soft one to Rainsy, but still not quite soft enough to accommodate and catch. Another pass deep to Egrets and Egrets! A little bit of hesitation in there, but with a purpose, you know, kind of eyeing down the defense as he was floating upwards just to find the spot that he wanted to shoot and seeing that uh, no one was diving on him, so he could afford to do that. Nice work by Egrets and Chaos. They're up 7 to 2. And once more, B Love uh, coming up here in the chat, cheering on the teams. And Nettie, welcome to the streams. Small, uh, recovering off of that keyboard cat attack earlier on. <laughs> and meanwhile, to Flynn, flying and finding Toki Doki, then that was great. It's uh, three points. And I know, I know. I'm sorry, Toki. I know, I know. Look, not all puns can be original or one of a kind. Sometimes they just come out and it's like. It's kind of like with Polo, right? Whenever Polo's in the chat, you know how how difficult it is to resist saying Marco constantly. It just... Anyway, uh, regardless, that was a really nice find. Point being. And they bring themselves within three. That's the important thing here. Never mind my words. Uh, but to the sideline, side panels, it's uh, Flynn with a disc. Flynn right down to the boots. That's gonna bounce nearly to Toki. And nearly back to Potato Crib. Which... I really like that name. Also want to point that out. Uh, as that shot goes out and rebounded. Open goal. They're up nine to four. Courtesy Philibus on that one. See, I think when it comes to names, some of the best names in the league are, are just those ones where you stick two unrelated objects together, like potato and crib. They just, they just make me all giddy inside. <laughs> I don't know. Just, they're, so, they're so inherently funny, without even trying to be. Uh, in any case though, Toki with a disc. Toki looking to launch that, and that's gonna hit on that side, just uh, side of the backboard, before sailing right back to Toki. Toki looking for, I think, far sight, but it just took a rough bounce there. And also past the midfielder, so that's kind of a dangerous turnover again. This could be yet another, uh, another clear into a mostly open goal for Chaos if Prior history is to be believed, but it uh, will actually be recovery. Uh, potato crib up high and getting stunned before that comes sailing back uh, towards the general direction. Rainsy slinging it to Akadi. Uh, Akadi going for kind of a frisbee fling uh, 180 of sorts as Rainsy takes it back. Rainsy gets stunned. Now, potato, uh, another clear, but a lot of hot potato coming up in here. Bouncing it now to Philibus. Philibus uh, could not wrangle it. So back to Flynn once again. Uh, Schlart team. Yes, I don't know what that's in reference to, but Schlart team and Schlart's in. Uh, asking about Dano. I believe Dano actually has a has a broken hardware or PC or something of that sort uh, as of this week. So indeed, rough goings. Uh, I think it's a PC or motherboard thing from what I recall. Uh, in any case... Grab here, and Flynn sailing by and manages to snag that right before the defense. Who uh, They were right in the area, but hey, that was quick, that was decisive, and just like that, they divide that lead and just cut it to uh, only three-point differential. So, right within reach, yet again. We're good. They're good. Indeed, Schlart. When you say Dan, I say no. Sorry. <laughs> Dan, no. Up to... Uh, Katie, uh, Philibus by the cloud. So, Philibus now working it up the floor. They have a narrow lead, just the one goal, potentially two goal leads, uh, I suppose, but gotta really protect this if they can, because another turnover here, uh, as is often the case in the last two minutes, anytime you have a lead, you know, be careful. Uh, be careful with the control. Don't, f don't force the things you don't have to, and I think Chaos is definitely trying to do that. With that said, open three, perhaps, and one of the other things I go to a lot is uh, those late-game threes. 
can be dangerous, but they will get a two instead, so they're still gonna be forced to at least score once more in regulation. But uh, just based on how it could have gone in that play, basically that's the next best case scenario. Obviously, ideally they don't score at all, but you know, force them into a two. So at the very least, you're not in a position where it might be an overtime because they tied with a three, right? That's that's what you want to avoid. Make them score twice if they want to win. Uh, that that is key. Not giving up those late game uh, threes, as it will be. Wow, nice, nice delivery. To Egret, I believe that was. Looks like a was grabbed by Flynn just as it was going in, but. Nonetheless, look at that. That was really tightly woven and that was perfectly timed. Basically, gave uh, next to no time for the defense to recover, even though, to Flynn's credit, uh, Flynn did, did recover pretty well. At least got the mitts on it, it seemed. Now, on this launch, up by three, so turnover. Very, very important to happen here uh, for Coco. There it is. So Toki uh, flings it. You know, losing it there to Chaos again, however, and they cannot afford it, unfortunately. 25 seconds remaining in round one. So Philibus up high. This point, aggression, aggression, aggression from Coco if they can. Uh, thir 13 seconds left. Another drive, another dump, and back in to the goal. It's Rainsy. They will indeed stump uh, Coco's unnamed team here. In what was a very contested last minute of play. And first round will go to Chaos. Of course, once again, as we go to uh, the score screen, courtesy of IgniteVR.gg, also want to shout out, as always, our great sponsors in HyperX and Asterion Products, uh, Pro2VR, VR Cover, Rebuff Reality, Fixed Gaming, and VRWare.net, where you can also get some VRML branded water bottles now as of this week, so go check out uh, VRWare, of course, for a lot of VRML and player and team-related uh, merch. As for me, I'm going to drink my very much non-sponsored, like I said, we're going to will it into existence, drink of choice. Sorry, I forgot the pinkies up thing. Um, not fancy after all, someone call Iggy Azalea, but anyway, uh, chaos takes, takes the cake, says Schlart. I like cake. I like cake stir. Ooh, used to be on chaos. But, uh, let's see, Nadash? Is it Nadash or Nadash? Let me know. Uh, yeah, but what's up? I I'm doing pretty well, aside of being kind of roasted here by uh, the uh, heat, the lights, heat lamps, basically. <laughs> but other than that, I'm good. I'm getting my first cast uh, in the week so far. Uh, how about you? How have the streams been this week? How have you been this week? Uh, this cast so far been strong. A lot of strong arming going on there as the brawls kind of go out. Picked off by Toki. And Toki right into the other side. Uh, clear and boost by, well, looks like Coco's, but they actually misread the disc a little bit, so it will offer the opportunity for Chaos to recover. And we saw them capitalizing a handful of times there on some of those uh, last round, but it will actually be Toki back in the goal, so saves the day in that regard. Maybe a little bit of a hurried shot on that occasion. But nonetheless, it's going to sail back to the orange side. Uh, Egret having it stolen, though. Toki, backboard, and taken by Akadi. The well-educated hands playing the defensive end. So nice dive out on the kind of grabbing it, pinning it off that backboard before it had a chance to go in. Akadi as well getting back to the blue zone, but has it stolen by Toki. Toki clearing it, uh, bouncing off ramp. There's a boost once more. Everyone flying across the floor and trying to fly for the score. Rebound instead to far side, and they got this side, uh, well, lined up, but unfortunately, maybe just uh, didn't see Akadi there, who just had saved something on the other end moments ago before this time completing the play. So that is twice now, uh, for that, about, again, 30 seconds ago, Katie had a save and then was first to the disc on the blue end over here at the sidewall, uh, but got it stolen kind of last second before, before he had a chance to line up a shot. But hey, second time around, same thing, uh, but different results at the end. Got a save, got the clear, got to the disc first, and got the score. So lovely play, highlight worthy from Katie as Potato Crib sends it way down to Toki. 
Now Toki getting stunned there by Egret. Clear into the blue, and oh man, another one nearly sailing in. Maybe too fast for their own good is, was a chaos, because now the defense has a chance to get back and to get the grab. Toki diving and taking uh, chaos a bit off guard. And almost taking them for three points as well. Uh, so rebound will be had by Toki. Has enough time to line it up. And there it is. It's tied at three in the second round. And not Ash saying, been pretty good, Pally. Hopefully next week can cast one of my matches on my team as Diamond. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to try to cast as much as I can typically, although, again, this week is a little bit of a rare, you know, break, uh, we casting break for B. Rare, but kind of needed this week, honestly, but, uh, you know, happy to be back here now this weekend. And, uh, yeah. I mean, ideally, I hope to cast uh, all the teams I possibly can of any rank, but, you know, especially in these busier slots, uh, it's very, very difficult balancing when I can, but that's also why we got the channel point reward things too, so people can earn those channel points by watching the streams, and as a direct result, can also uh, earn guaranteed streams in their own right. So, you yeah, had some options, but yeah, hope to see you. Uh, what, what is your team out of curiosity? Remind me here. Just forgive me, but it used to be I could, I could name where everyone was pretty accurately, but these days with 320-some teams, I can't do it anymore. I just, it, too many, so many players I forget. <laughs> I forget where everyone is, except maybe at like master. Uh, Philibus here over to the cloud. Egret with the disc. And Egret now driving it up to the alley oop to Philibus. And that was some Philly moves there. With no mistake, maybe some cheese steak. Uh, but that's a great assist and a timeout being had now. Five to three though for Chaos. As we do get some sort of issue being addressed. All right, so uh, uh, Nash asking, what what does season VIP do? Any perks? Not really beyond a, a little badge <laughs> in Twitch chat. Like it's a it's a Twitch role. Um, but yeah, no in inherent perks beyond showing that hey, you watch the streams a lot. Uh, here's a cool diamond badge. Like it's like a you know pink diamond badge. I don't know if anyone here currently has it. I don't. It doesn't look like it, but uh. But yeah, just kind of a, a unique Twitch badge, um, you know, as far as perks, I, if we were ever happen to be like, if we ever happen to be in slow mode, for instance, I think it gives you, like it lets you uh, override slow mode, uh, lets you override getting flagged by bots for post posting links, stuff like that, but also stuff that's not terribly relevant most of the time since we don't really do slow modes and things like that. Uh, but yeah, it's just just a for fun thing. That's why it's kind of an e extravagant price. It's just more so for like power viewers who don't have anything else to spend it on, but they want to show that hey, I watch these streams a lot. I chat a lot. <laughs> Look at me shine like a diamond, call Rihanna. But uh, yeah, again, uh, so this is second round. First round was taken by Chaos, just narrowly, but it was taken by Chaos. Uh, Coco's unnamed team trying to come back here, force that round three, because otherwise. You know, a little blemish on their record, and I, I do mean a little one, because their record so far in the gold division, again, 8 and 4. So, you now win here would put them 9 and nine and 4, or loss, 8 and 5. Both records still completely uh, respectable, and yeah, for, for Chaos, this game important to them, because it would put them at 8 and 7 if they win here. And will go back up on the win column, kind of uh, maybe break that out, and, and, and have a... Well, again, break out into the rest of this cycle. Now with a winning record. And continue climbing that ladder. Alright, so timeout is up, it looks like, though. And also, cheers to Cyanide there, uh, showing the example. That VIP badge, so you can see it. Yeah, Star is, is the sub badge, and then the Diamond is the VIP badge. So, you know, just, uh... It's basically, yeah, it, it's... VRML Cosmetic... DLC, I guess, for Twitch is what it comes down to. Anyway, uh, Toki with a, I think, shot. That was almost sin, but a KD is right there in the right place for the right time with the right lane clear just the same. And now, uh, if they can get this out, firing off uh, the cannon a little bit too loose as it will be grabbed by Rainsy. Rainsy 
whirling it around like a windmill before Philobus has it stolen by Flynn. Now Potato grabs that loose disc, sends it to the midway, midfield, and picks it back up by the Ready at Dawn logo. And they are ready and they are on as Flynn making a play. Uh, another cut maybe. One more, but a little too strong. You saw the intention certainly. Just the connection. A little bit less than what they desired, but they still may have a chance at retaining here, especially if they can boost. And they will. Uh, but that said, so does Chaos. Hmm, soda. Uh, but Chaos down the floor. Fill the bus! They find a few more points. It's Chaos up 8 to 3 in the second round. See Nettie in there saying Akadi is doing insane. Yeah, Akadi is having a great game. Has had a few fantastic grabs so far. Uh, some scores off of him, in fact. So playing, you know, defensively, definitely know Akadi is capable of that. Uh, just based on last season alone, who's definitely a standout in that regard for Chaos. But definitely showing, you know, the the full uh, repertoire here. See, did you know I spoke French chat? I bet you didn't. That is French, right? Well, excuse my French, but excuse this as they go right through the lane. Far sight! You see, that had a, like a hook shot as he was sailing right underneath the goal. So kind of an awkward angle, but a, a very fancy finish, or at least a, a nice touch on the finish, I guess you can say. You know, not, not the easiest kind of sweeping, sweeping maneuver. But uh, that said, three-point uh, differential here. Less than four minutes still to go. And again, pressure is all on Coco's unnamed team uh, to complete this one and force a third round. Otherwise, you might regret it as that man right there will score and put them back up uh, by double. 10 to 5. Understood? 10 4. Hey, what's up, Soggy Bunning? Snags over, over in the Twitch chat. Welcome to the Twitch. Glad to see you. How are things going there across the ocean or the oceans? The world over in OCE. Uh, back into the deep blue, though. Not the sea, but the bubble. And uh, into the goal is Flynn. Meanwhile, recovering will be chaos, it looks like. So with a lot of tricky moves on the floor. Kind of dancing around. Little tap dancing. And it will be taken back by Potato. Potato sending it. I'm doing great, Soggy. Thank you very much. And that is not Soggy. That's Crisp with a soft touch. Three-point differential. Only 33 seconds expired in that uh, joust. So they are right back in it. Coco's unnamed team trying to will themselves to this third round if they can. They are definitely not letting up at all. We love to see that. All right, so uh, off this rollout will be uh, pinned by Rainsy. Some aggressive defense coming out from Coco's, and they, they know they need to be aggressive, be E aggressive, because otherwise they will be E losing this match. Uh, so I like what I'm seeing here. They're, they're piling on, but now, now that the defense has, kind of, uh, has been broken, they need to find their stacks quickly. A little bit delayed, and this may open things up for Chaos, but Chaos uh, missed connections there, but they still will find one along the way, but Potato Crib denying that one. Just get out of my house, get out of my crib. Getting messy in there. I'm gonna grab a potato bib. Nonetheless, it's Flynn sending it, flying once again up high. Uh, they're gonna go stacking, boosting, recovering. It's far sight and up high. Oh, they had the open three that could have gotten the tie, uh, but now that pass up top will make it a little, actually a lot more tough on the angle. So that's a tough giveaway and that will be sent way into the blue. And that could definitely prove super costly in this round. Off the backboard, it will. Akadi continues the hot play. They're up 12 to 7. So that is definitely tough on the side of Coco's because they that was basically their, their window to really, really shift the tides dramatically. Uh, tying up with a three, but uh, again, just maybe a, a miscommunication or a misidentification on the open goal. And yeah, that was. That was all she wrote. That really, uh, really damaged their chances here to come back. Not to say that they can't, because they still certainly can, but they need to score fast. They score fast. Farsight, assisted by Toki up at that nest. All right, back within three. Still a big hill to climb, but uh, climbable no less. Uh, grab your boots. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
All right, so here it goes. Again, it's aggression, the name of the game. Turnover needs to happen right now. <laughs> and it's basically at the point where if there's an open goal conceded, so be it. Uh, you can't afford to stick all inside that goal. You need to press, press, press. Otherwise, we'll fill a bus. And that is a full gorilla press. Shout out, gorilla tag. But you know what? Tag, chaos is it. They've just won this one in a sweep. 14 to 9. Uh, coming down still yet, though, to the wire in this second round. But a victory just the same. All right, so back to the score screen once again, uh, and we do have the next match coming up right away. As you can see, the sweating continues. Passing is a serious job, don't you know? Builds up a sweat. Also Arizona. But anyway, uh, good match. Uh, shame that it couldn't go to three. It was, it was very close. Again, you can see it right there. It wasn't a big, it wasn't a blowout situation. I mean, it came down to the wire. Uh, but just, you know, those last minute, the, the closeouts by Chaos, able to get it done, both times. Now, excuse me for just a second, because that Dr. Pepper may have gotten to me. Uh, <sighs> okay, I'm good. Anyway, <laughs> um, so the next one, next match is coming up, uh, from what I was told, they will actually be bringing... Uh, Echoholics into this server. Uh, Chaos. That is, uh, next game, which is to say, is Echoholics uh, coming in versus Geo uh, Team Geometry. So I believe they'll be bringing them right into this server. So I won't even have to move anywhere, which is kind of nice. Uh, so, uh, saw a Twitch chat in there talking about what the. Yeah, the, the computer component. I was mentioning that to open up the stream earlier. Uh, I, I've been trying to search. I've been in those lines, the, the New Egg uh, shuffles. I've been in, you know, the Best Buy restocks on third. I'm trying to get myself uh, some new parts, whether, you know, full pre-built or just uh, if I can get my hands on, like, on a CPU and GPU, the ones that I want, build, you know, just build a PC. But I've been trying, you know, that way I can get some of the other cool features on stream, uh, like Subtlety's been doing with the, the dual cams, for instance, on the Joust, you know, using two PCs and a capture card. And uh, for that matter, it, it could also mean I have, like, a backup to, like, uh, at least have games stream that aren't being casted for instance uh, stuff like that you know so multiple reasons i'm wanting a new pc here but it is very difficult very difficult i'm having a hard time justifying paying premiums to scalpers <laughs> but that's okay um all right so brief intermission here i'm just gonna you know switch out my stuff uh, shout out by the way six six fathom glad to have you here pally drip that is correct are you talking about my clothes or my sweat because Either way, you're on the money. Um, I'll be right back uh, with our next match here. Just got to readjust the overlays and, you know, stuff. Uh, stay tuned.
All right, welcome back, ladies, gents, jacks, jills, doors. Are there any other doors besides me in the house? Probably not, but maybe. Uh, so yeah, we got team geometry. We've got Echoholics, and for you guys in the Twitch chat, we've got the prediction polls. See, I said it a lot cleaner that time. The prediction polls up for uh, up for grabs right now for your votes starting. Boom, right now. So you got two minutes to get your channel point uh, bets in there, you know, win, win some, lose some, use them for casts and whatnot or other fun things. Speaking of, I realize I'm missing... This is the problem with a uh, Twitch uh, dashboard sometimes, like you guys redeem stuff, it doesn't always update, I've noticed. So sometimes I miss things, and then when I refresh and go back into the panel, then it shows me all these these redemptions that I've missed, and then I feel bad, man. <sighs> Alas, well, that said, we'll, we'll get to them at some point. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, thanks for joining me here today on BRML Channel 1, today slash tonight, as we do make our way to the first round, about to start right now. Uh, so, Echoholics and Geometry both in gold. Uh, 11 and 6 for Echoholics, strong record, and almost a strong joust uh, for Team Geometry, 12 and 7, also a strong record, so it could really go either way. That's usually how it is <laughs> these days, but... Hey, uh, definitely both of these teams are, are not only, you know, they're not only playing well, I mean, they're, they're sustaining a, like, extra high level of play to, to be able to achieve this. I mean, th that record suggests that both of these teams are on a rapid climb up uh, in this gold division. They're, they're seeking out the diamond tier. Absolutely. You know, step by step. Uh, when you run into teams like that with those kind of records, you, you know that they're both on the rise. So, really, this is a... A pretty crucial game for both teams, just in the context of, you know, again, being able to prove your assault and uh, nothing else, continue climbing that, that strongly in, in this battle of, again, dark horses, of which there are many uh, here on the streams these days and in, in the divisions. So smooth right in, sending one over, but spin! Taking that one out, or taking that for a spin, I guess you'd say, Quinton. Taking that for a Quinton, and maybe for a three, but the ding, the recovery, and Zen, the Wii, gets the go. Nice little rebound. And what's up to- Skinny, you're fired. What's up to Skinny? Uh, Dano McFabulous once again. Echoholics, loving some Echoholics there, apparently. Dano, you addicted to alcohol Echoholics? <laughs> there's a- there, there's a- there's a there's a, there's a there's a there's a meeting for that. Echo Anonymous. I think a lot of us would actually be a part of it. I'd... <sighs> Look at how long we've been a part of Echo, right? We're all Echoholics deep down, I think. <laughs> uh, after this many years. But hey, with that, a deep deep heat that almost gets in the three. Uh, and also, welcome to Bracara. Uh, glad to see you in the chat. And everyone else all around uh, the Twitch. Got, again, some good matches today. We had venues earlier on for uh, the European region. Tomorrow evening, we have uh, the North American matches as well on schedule. So you got some good stuff tonight, tomorrow, and beyond to infinity. Uh, that's the buzz, but uh, that's set up here right above the pack. And we spin, sending it back over to Spoonier Newt. So we've got a Newton dad on one side. We've got a Spoonier Newt on the other. And uh, that said, on the recovery, it will be Quinton, and couldn't find the shot. Rebound might be uh, successful though. Quinton there, a quick dance, tapping off, and finding the perfectly placed pass. And a walk and dunk for spin, not a spin dunk. But nonetheless, that was a very well placed pass. Uh, and with that, a quick, quick two goal advantage. More discussions there in the Twitch chat regarding the whole GPU situations. See, ideally, what I'm aiming for, what I'm aiming for, I want a CPU side, I'm looking for a 5900X, and then GPU, probably 3070. Although, if, if I can get the processor I want, I'll probably take whatever GPU I can get, and then if I need to just upgrade, sell and upgrade later, like when availability is better. CPU is more of my important thing, because that's that's the kind of thing where I don't intend to upgrade that for like five years or six years, or basically until I build a new PC. GPU, they can always be switched in and out over the years. Uh, anyway, regardless of that, switching out and switching back to the cast, of course. Uh, these teams, 
Everywhere. About four minutes in, just the, the two the two scores for geometry so far. You know, I saw some of those geometry players, uh, well, and and uh, Echoholics players in the Twitch chat earlier, for that matter. But you know, geometry definitely wanting uh, wanting a win here, wanting to kind of get that together. I saw. S I forgot who it was, uh, I think it was Quinton, uh, mentioning a victory here kind of important for them. In terms of, you know, there's the sustainability as a team, which I was kind of surprised, not to call it out, but since it was said in Twitch chat, I figure it's not secret. Uh, but yeah, kind of surprising. Like, it's, it, you know, the, the maybe uncertain future, but that said, if you look at the, this game so far, there's nothing uncertain about it. Uh, they are, you know, on a really high level of play. They're up six points. You know, they're uh, communicating well. And they're scoring, while holding the other team scoreless, more importantly. So, thus far, like what I'm seeing from Geometry. Now it's, of course, the nature of the game, you know, uh, rosters, they'll switch up, teams will switch. It happens when you have 3,000 players playing in the league, but... You know, definitely, you can see the talent at, at uh, the levels of all these teams that we've streamed so far in this block. Now speaking of, up top, trying not to get blocked. It's a nice handoff pass, but cut off by Smooth Rider. From Echoholics. Rebounded there, picked off by Spin. Spin having it uh, sent right back to him. So Spin just walks it in, and that's gonna take a almost bounce into the goal off that corner. But instead, sailing back out to the midfield. Uh, Spoonier Newt sending it now to the bottom corner. One more cross, but couldn't find it. Again, opportunity there. Uh, the right idea is just not quite the execution, but they'll still have another chance. If not denied, however, by the great defense of Newton Dad. So Newton Dad. Diving out right beyond that bubble. That was a running theme earlier on, right? Uh, mentioning, recognizing when it's uh, Im important, when it's appropriate to dive out on receivers as opposed to just staying inside the goal. Now that said, inside the goal is Zen. So that's Zen. And that is indeed Zen uh, for Zen. Four minutes. Also, I know no one redeemed it, but hydration. Okay, sorry about that, uh, but back on course, my voice was a little bit hoarse, that's all, uh, to Sir Captain Spoon. Now, Sir Captain, over to the nest, Abchu all alone, gets the goal just past the reach of Spoonier Newt. Goes back to what I was saying earlier, right? You pair, you pair a couple of unrelated words together, they just make such fun names. Spoons and Newts, who would have thought? But nonetheless, first two points coming in. Oh, you know what? While I'm here on the topic of names, so I've heard conflicting things. Now I was in there for the uh, for for Gilligan's, you know, uh, Friday night community cast there uh, last week. Now, is it Abchu or is it like is that supposed to be how it's pronounced? It seems like people call him that, but it's not actually that. But I'm not positive. Anyway, uh, to Zen. Zen to Quinton. And Quinton right to the goal. They're back up by eight. Great patience, great passing, despite the uh, swarm of defenders kind of all in that same little area of the goal. Original VR. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, a uh, fan here of Geometry and what they're doing so far. And Schlart, plug in products like a like a true caster. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, definitely love us some Fontac. Uh, you know, 100%. Fontac and VRWare.net, some great stuff uh, on there. And as, as always, it's it's the same case with VRML, right? It's all about uh, you know supporting the community efforts as they will try and support themselves that three-point shot but instead will be sent right out the bubble rebound there a lot of dancing just one armed the one armed zen spinning the webs or spinning the weaves like a spider granted a one-legged spider whoever heard of such a thing nonetheless it's a uh, still a score dancing around that backboard somehow evasively but yeah exactly you know uh, vrware.net uh, ran there by Fontac and and co, but, you know, all part of, part of the community, and so gla glad uh, for them to support us, and for us to uh, support them, vice versa. Hence so why we have these streams all the time, you know, daily. 
Because then we can just put that right back into the community as there will be a shot going out there and rebounded so softly by Quinton. Uh, Geometry is having quite a showing here to start off, I must say. Now, you know, Echoholics, no strangers to the stream. We've seen them a great handful of times. Uh, they, they are very frequently one of the more uh, hype voted teams uh, on the match pages whenever they do have a, a match being played on a given day. And I always say that it always gets factored in. Certainly, it shows us where the interest is. So, you now we see we see those votes coming in. It factors in pretty uh, heavily into what our streaming block will look like in those crowded schedules. So, that said, uh, getting stunned out here, it's Quinton. So good recovery here, uh, Sir Captain Spoon, looking for that long pass. But there it goes. That those dives I talked about, right? Uh, why did the goalie dive on it? Because it was a, a long pass, and just by the very virtue of being long distance. Means if a goalie is paying attention, uh, that's very, very diveable in comparison. So nice move and maybe even a shot attempt there, almost going uh, off that wall. You, very much with a purpose. You see teams doing that all the time. Uh, that said, now taking back Sir Captain Spoon deep down the floor, and with one more chance to score, there's spin, spin uh, right off the barrier. And first round looking good for Team Geometry. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know what they were, they were mentioning in Twitch chat earlier, but, uh, you know, call them Team Chemistry instead, because by all accounts, uh, they definitely showed up in this first round uh, with, you know, a point to prove. Uh, but as I was, as I was getting at, though, you know, for Echoholics, not, uh, not strangers at all to these casts and these streams over the weeks, they've been featured quite a bit and they've uh, definitely been fun to watch and cast constantly. Whether in VRML or, you know, other community leagues. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, these players. I would not be surprised to see them come back uh, for round two a lot. A lot more focus. And, I mean, on that note, they did actually have one player just drop out now. And you might have heard the buzzer signifying a timeout being taken just a uh, second ago. So, not sure if there are some underlying things going on there. Tech issues or what have you. But, uh, again, uh, for Echoholics... They're they're only a, a, a round away, a minute away from looking like, looking like their normal selves, which is to say, the team that got 11 and six on the win losses currently. But, but yeah, I mean, geometry. As I was saying, same for them. <laughs> Both of these records, very very impressive. Okay, sorry about that. It was just uh, chugging, chugging some uh, liquids there. A few casts in a row, and like I said, haven't actually casted this week until tonight or this afternoon. So, you know, vocal warm up. I may have not taken a drink. Uh, drink. Apparently, I have been drinking. I haven't drank as much as I should have going into this one. I didn't account the fact that it would be so hot in here. But I think between my burning hot processor. And currently in my computer, which always runs hot, between these lights and then between the state I live in. I'm just in a state of, uh, complete heat. Thanks to, uh, yeah, thanks to all those factors. I'm sweating it. But, no sweat, no sweat. It's these teams who are really expending all the energy. I'm just here. I'm just here chilling. Figuratively. De definitely not literally. I'm, I'm burning. But I'm chilling otherwise. Uh, nah, dash. Nah. Nah. Dash that thought out your head. Only thing I sip is Dr. Pepper and occasionally Sprite and regretfully water when I need to. But yeah. It's the gamer mic, says Galactic Rift. That is correct. Brought to you by HyperX, but also literally. Uh, yeah, HyperX Quadcast S. I'm a fan. I like it. I love it. Want some more of it. I like that I can do this, and it means you can't hear me when I sneeze, and...
You don't know what I said right now, but I was just I was I was scolding you so hard. But see, that's that's the beauty of that capacitive touch. Let's me let's me mute and know what I muted for sure. There's been for those who've been watching VRML for extended amounts of time, you, you'll know that every once in a while there's cases where uh, you know we think we're muted, and then we're we discover we're not muted, <laughs> and then things are said that are. Uh, not intended to be heard, <laughs> but that said, uh, back, back to the second round here. So, little timeouts, but no time wasted for Geometry. They immediately score off that joust. 11 seconds, right back in it. Uh, no, no, Galactic, not not sponsored by Dr. Pepper, but I appreciate the the, the thoughts. Like I said, we're trying to speak it into existence. Although we had discussions, you know, uh, speaking of liquid sponsors, we were having, you know, discussions like if we got sponsored by G Fuel, for instance, which I know is popular around uh, certain parts of the community, it would be zero G Fuel. You know, it markets itself, does it not? So I think it's a match made in heaven, indeed. Maybe one day. Uh, go Twitter, hashtag zero G Fuel. I don't know. Uh, spin there with a pass off to Quinton, but a good steal and i oh, steal right back actually So they're gonna back it out or attempt to so it was the right idea, but actually misconnection on the midfield I, I do like the fact that they wanted to reset considering how disarrayed it was but it Just kind of messed up the uh, the actual pass itself. there, miscommunicated uh, that said some good aggression coming in from Echoholics uh, Bracara uh, will nab that one and off the sidewall by the way did anyone ever answer me about uh, Abchu because if so, I, I didn't pay attention. I'll pay attention this time. Uh, it is Abchu, right? Not, not AB, ABC Chu or a, ABC Hugh or I don't know. Anyway, I've just I've heard I've heard a conflicting word on the pronunciation of that. Uh, but Quinton here with the di uh, disc and uh, will uh, be just off to the Pac Man. Echoholics. Oh, Echoholics has a Twitch account. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Uh, saying a, a Abchu, AB Chu. Wait, that doesn't help me at all. A, B, or Ab? Because uh, you, you capitalize both. A, B, Chu. A, B, Chu, too. Okay. Good. <laughs> Confirm. A, A, B, Chu. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, no. The goal, though. Smoothie or Newt taking that out. So an attempt a little bit uh, ambitious coming in from the side of Echoholics. Uh, but still, they're going to get the possession back. So there's Captain. Sir Captain Spoon searching for maybe a pass. They have the back pass. They have the forward one. It just kind of sails right in between the two and will be a turnover instead, perhaps. Uh, good shield from Zen the Weeb. A recovery from Smooth Right in just right, uh, right place. See if they can find themselves that boost. There's a few successive grabs. The goal immediately closed off. What great stacking and defense from Geometry there. The fact that all four of them got back into the goal in a snap of a finger and got the save on top of it. Uh, pretty impressive, I mean, just basically recollection of, of the thoughts uh, here on Team Geometry. They didn't get too caught up in the turnover. They just fixed it with some boosting. Gotta love that. Uh, but recovery now to Quinton, seeing if they can capitalize for some points. The lone two points so far. Oh, the dancing, the dancing, but the stealing from Brakara. Now back to Spoonier Newt. Spoonier Newt finding Zen off the pyramid. And yes, he did. Zen the Weeb. They're up by four. But a lot of time expended on that one. Two minutes, 44 seconds, as you can see. So, uh, Echoholics doing well to prevent, you know, too much scoring in these first few minutes. And they had some chances, certainly. Just couldn't quite uh, capitalize, but maybe this time around. Six minutes, still more than six minutes left, of course, and oh, that goal was open, uh, but couldn't convert, unfortunately, so that would have definitely been a good booster for Echoholics. They still might get there yet, but instead getting boosted and stunned upon by spin, or spun upon, as it will be a recovery from Quinton, has a narrow angle trying to find somebody over on the barrier, but eventually reaches Zen. Zen right below to Quinton. Looking for their third consecutive goal. They have some options. You can see both of the backboard as well as the barrier, but actually just misses both of them. Uh, still recovered here by Spin. Spin tapping it down to Zen. Zen to Quinton. Goal being covered now by some defenders. Meanwhile, there's Spin looking for the alley. Oop. The intent was there, but again, connection not. But connection, Newt with a disc. Newt to Zen. 
Zen back below the goal to the backboard and almost a save, but sails in. That's a, yet again we've seen that. Once for both, once for either team, I believe. This time, uh, Sir Captain Spoon having that sail in, unfortunately. But with that, it is a six-point advantage for uh, Geometry here. So, unfortunate play where you know, almost, almost a good save. It always kills a goalie when that happens, of course. But, uh, but yeah, with that, a timeout now taken. Again, the one earlier on was between rounds, so it did not count as a uh, technical timeout for either team. So. Not sure who might have t uh, taken this one, but regardless, they both have uh, at least one tech timeout to expend, so. And with that, it does seem like it's rather quick one, so I'm not really sure what the issue may or may not have been, but yeah, that was just a very short-lived timeout. Eleven, ten, nine, Echoholics eight, there in the chat also saying, seven, you just call him Chew. All right, good to know. I can go with that. A, B, Chew, or Chew. Coming right at you with a finish of this round. Last five minutes. That will be Captain Spoon getting stunned. Uh, there's Spoonier Newt. How did I How did I not recognize that? This keeps happening. So now we have, well, not, not in this round, granted, but we had Newton Dad earlier. And then Spoonier Newt. But then I didn't realize we also had Captain Spoon and Spoonier Newt. All this name chemistry across teams. Uh, that said, chemistry on the passing. Spin from Quinton. Shots in. They're up by eight. Because I had this, uh, had this last week as well, uh, casting uh, teams with a lot of foxes. Right? We had, we had it was a match. We had a uh, uh, what was it? What was it? Uh, Snowy Fox and, and Red Fox, I want to say. We had uh, another match, uh, I'm trying to recall, but hold on, because that goal, that shot is gold! Sir Captain Spoon. Now, that, that might be exactly what they need. Talk about hot shots, talk about foxy shots. That was uh, definitely some clutch, clutchness, because even though there's still you know plenty of time, it's clutch in the sense that they really, really desperately needed that. So, Sir Captain Spoon with a fantastic grab. Fantastic shot, that is, and uh, that could be what gets them going here. Now you see that stack just narrowly evading, trying to link up together, but they do get a little bit separated, and that could be damaging, uh, because now it's going to offer some numbers over and under and in for spin. It's 10 to 3. What a nice passing play that was, directly in front of the goalie's face, just about. And shout out also, uh, Egret, five tier one community subs. Appreciate that very much from Egret. We just saw Egret uh, moments ago playing in that uh, match uh, for uh, Chaos there. And was, uh, yeah, glad to have you. Good games and good looks on the subs. Appreciate that a ton. All the love back at you and uh, to Chaos. Now that said, some chaos needs to happen here for Echoholics in the sense that they need to be pushing up, they need to be aggressive as they can, but also making sure they uh, link up on those stacks. Like, there's the aggression. Triple stun, basically. Three players all punching out the same uh, defender at the same time. This is going to open up a lane, but Bakara being stunned, so taken here at the bottom spin, trying to slap that to the midline. Now, way back into it, the recovery. There's Zen this time with a mail slot of their own, but not meeting the same results that Echoholics did. Uh, nonetheless, rebounded, or actually passed over to Quinton, and a very gentle dunk, as if just dipping a cookie into coffee. Well, uh, they coughed up a turnover and turned it into 12 to three on the score sheet. So with two minutes left, a little bit over that. Starting to get precarious for uh, Echoholics, Team Geometry. They are definitely firing off on multiple cylinders tonight. Now a turnover again here. See Chu inside the goal being contested as well by Zen. Uh, the defense trying to recover and link up if they can. So there is a turnover potentially just beyond the reach, however, of Rakara. So a fast sailing Quinton is there. Now Spin sending it down the field. Meanwhile, Quinton now flying down that left lane. Uh, got some options maybe at the shoulder, but will bounce awkwardly uh, into another grab. Uh, right back for Spin. Spin with a good pass. Uh, good dive there from Smooth Riding. So good dive and the clear from Bakara. But unfortunately, again, another takeover. And they're going to punish off that somehow, some way. I think that went off the, the head 
but almost backwards. That was so unusual. Uh, trying to get a look at this. It's really small on my screen, but that was a uh, <laughs> like like on the on the rele uh, on the wind up. Hit off the head from behind. That was a really unusual bounce to see, but man, I guess when it rains, it pours. And at the moment, Team Geometry is pouring in those goals, even in ways that they do not intend, necessarily. Uh, but regardless, it's over to Chu. Chu to Bracara, and Bracara gets the goal, 14 to five. Good pass and a strong finish there, right from that corner pocket. So, a uh, good goal here to get them on the board once again, but unfortunately at this point in time, just a bit too little, uh, too late in that, in that sense. I think if there were a few more minutes in this round to expand, you, you could definitely see um, uh, momentum trying or starting to shift, but uh, just wasn't quite there here tonight. And for Team Geometry, you know, they're going to close this one out pretty strongly. You know, along the whole way, they were just uh, really fast. Good with the passes, and even when they missed them, they were just recovering uh, just as quickly. And with that, yeah, they're, you know, both these teams will continue to have uh, some impressive records, but for Team Geometry, just a little bit more so now, as they will win this one 14 to 5 in round two. Uh, so matching their total actually uh, from round one. But furthermore, you know, they're going to advance here to uh, 13 and 7. Record-wise, which again, as I said, that is that's pretty immense. I mean, Echoholics are going to fall to uh, 11 and 7, but once more, when when you consider the ladder system uh, here, purposely you know placing you against teams of similar skill level, and the more you win, the higher level uh, your next matchups are, right? So, for any team at this juncture, week seven, to have a you know record, a winning record with again, you know four five six more wins than losses at this at this point uh, that's very very impressive so both these teams definitely strong uh but team geometry just a little bit stronger here uh for this particular match and they will continue to advance up that ladder i mean like i said they keep winning it's great for them but that just means it's gonna keep getting tougher so let's see if they can uh, keep up but tonight very promising very promising indeed uh i said that weird poll yes choose the outcome i will Oh, it looks like, uh, yeah, the favorites. Favorites were Echoholics, it looks like. Uh, in terms of, yeah, by, by a few votes there and some of the channel points. So let's see. Choose that for you. Team Geometry. And there you go. So, all right. Um, yeah, I did say that weird prime. You know, when you, you say so many words, right? If I rattle off like a thousand in the span of a cast or whatever. Law of averages, one of them's bound to come out a little bit funky. That's why, that's why I practice with Eminem raps and stuff, but even that can always save the day after you do a few casts in a row. But, that's okay. Uh, these teams played very, very well uh, on the stream today, and uh, that was three in a row. I'm trying to find my schedule here for the next ones. Actually, I don't think I actually have one. There, There is no match immediately following this, uh, but there is a master tier match. Scheduled uh, top of the hour project mayhem and anomaly so not currently picked up so I guess that's my cue I will pick up that match here on channel one project mayhem versus anomaly will be here in 22 minutes, so worry not um, As for the rest of the night we will See I'll have to kind of filter out what I'm going to stream right after I end this one so uh, Yeah uh, Prime says, and he stares into your soul when looking at the camera. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Where, where do I look? Where do I, am I, do I look here? Do I just, is it more comfortable if I look there or there? I don't know. It, it's awkward. I really don't know what to do with my hands half the time, but now I don't know what to do with my eyes. Um, let me know. Yeah, in, in the, I am looking in the, I mean, where do you want? I'm looking in the lens right now. Does this bring you comfort? Does this bring you joy? Does this bring you discomfort? For me, I'm always uncomfortable. That's a trick. So, it all, it all works out. Um, anyway. 
Anything that I miss otherwise? I did miss, like, again, a word sneak way, way long ago, which I will refund, actually. Feel bad about that. Uh, and Captain Wigglepants. Cheers to you, yeah. Hydration, seven minutes ago. This is for the wiggly one. Indeed. Indeed. All right. Um, so like I said, top of the hour, 20 minutes from now, we'll have our next match. Hopefully I didn't miss anything significant uh, directed at me. A lot of you were busy talking, so... Uh, I think we're good, though. Remember, if there are things that I that really need my attention, you can always do, like, highlighted messages or caster shoutouts. Just, just for an FYI. Uh, but... Looks like uh, we're good on that end. And again, want to shout out uh, Egret for those five uh, gifted subs, tier one subs. That's uh, super, super generous of you. And like I said, appreciate that a ton. Never have to, but for those who do, I mean, like I said, means a lot. Appreciate that support. Uh, all goes back to the casters at the end of the season. Uh, with that, now speaking of, hey, Ian Walls with a subscription, uh, Prime Gaming. Thank you, Ian Walls. Appreciate that as well. That is very, uh, Ian well. To the walls. I wanted to say something else, but it was just, it, it was kind of teetering on not being right to say on stream, so, you know. But, appreciate you going to the wall for us. Uh, you're a baller. You're a waller. And thanks for your five dollars. Anyway. Uh, appreciate it, though. <laughs> uh, very kind of you guys, and thanks for the follow as well. Like I said, yeah. It's good stuff. Um, so... With that, uh, oh yeah, D Hawk in there, uh, Twitch TV D Hawk saying need more info on this league, and Schlart kindly providing the link there. Yeah, uh, VRMasterLeague.com or VRML.com also works uh, as of the last few months, so we got, also have that domain. Just fun fact, but yeah, can check it out there. Uh, important places to visit would be the Echo Games Discord. Um, well, and of course the VRML Discord. I just don't have. I don't think we have that vanity link reset up yet, so I can't really give you a convenient one necessarily, but. All the, all the relevant info is on VRML.com. Uh, so, you know, uh, free to play. Echo as well. I mean, Echo's free to play. VRML's free to play in. Flexible scheduling. So teams have two matches per week that they're given on Mondays. And you schedule pretty much any time throughout the whole week that you'd like with other teams. Uh, we cast games basically seven days a week. There are very few days where we're not having hours of cast somewhere. I think the amount of times we've not had casts this season, the amount of days we haven't uh, had it, um, barring the break week where no one had matches, I think maybe three times? Like three times out of 50 days or something? I mean, yeah. Uh, so a lot of teams, 320-something teams, I believe, as of now, 3,000 players. You got you got options here. Uh, any level of play, any level of committal. VRML is for you. I guarantee it. If you like Echo, anyways. Schlart saying I like to cast. He likes to cast. So Off-brand casting. Schlart and Pally cast. That could go very well or very horribly. Somebody called Bill Nye. That's a, that's a science experiment for another day. <laughs> Interesting thought, though. Not VRML regulated. Ah, gotcha. You know, fair enough. <laughs> um... Manifold asking, do points pull together in all three VR mouse channels? No. Uh, just the this this channel, channel one, basically. Now, we can technically get affiliate. Like, we're qualified for affiliate on channels two and three, but we don't... We, we haven't applied to it for reason. There's reasons. <laughs> there are reasons. But, uh, yeah, it's it. all the, you know, biggest blocks of streaming uh, and the biggest matches and stuff are typically centralized on this channel anyway, so... For channels 2 and 3, that's like overflow, which they do get used sometimes, but we do keep those channels open, again, for reasons. One of those reasons being venue streams that we do uh, on the weekends each week, which we can't stream live to Twitch. Like, in a, uh, we can't be a Twitch affiliate or partner and stream to another uh, service or another platform. So that's when channels 2 and 3, like for bigger events like Challengers Cups, Finals, things like that, that's that's when the other channels, the non-monetized channels, come in handy. Uh, kind of a little trade-off there, but I digress. Um, Ryan, what teams are going to be casted tonight? Uh, good question. I mean, next up uh, will be Anomaly versus, uh, versus Project Mayhem. 
That much I can guarantee. The rest of it I'm still trying to figure out. I'm not sure what the other casters are or aren't doing. Again, you know, all, all based on uh, caster availability and volunteering and whatnot, so I couldn't quite tell you what the other casters intend or don't. As far as me, I'll be streaming the Master Match in 15 minutes, and uh, the rest of the schedule I'll figure out also in the next 15 minutes. So with that note, I should really stop rambling and get to it. Uh, Sputnik, Cobra not doing anything. What else is new? Just kidding. I love Sputnik, and of course, saw Sputnik earlier uh, doing venues, and well, every week uh, doing venues and all those streams throughout the weeks. Sputnik, always a favorite here in VRML. And from Pally, personally. Okay, um... Onions versus Dust, but... Yeah, Onion is getting uh, getting match stream, yeah. They have the... That was a match redemption, casted match redemption for channel points uh, also. Although I'm not actually positive that it went through or not. I don't remember if I accepted it, but I noticed the redemption queue, uh, it disappeared off of it, so... Either way, that one will be getting casted because it was presumably a redeemed thing. But... Okay. Okay, I'm gone. Uh, so yeah, be back here and again in about uh, 15 minutes or so we'll go live with the rest of your blocks for the evening. Till then, I'm gonna turn on the AC, drink some more pep, get the schedules in line, and until then, I've been Palador, this has been VR Master League Channel 1, and this is me staring into your soul once again, wherever you are, Prime. Season 3 of VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX, Rebuff Reality, Asterion Products, ProTube VR, VR Cover, Fixed Gaming, and VRWare.net.